Mr. Mayor, it's a pleasure to be in uh, what I, I would suggest is one of the most dynamic areas in, a, in the world, uh, certainly uh, in the United States. And, and, and uh, if you're dynamic in, in uh, uh, Texas, you are dynamic in the United States right now. So uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's a great day to be in Plano. And, and uh, uh, one of the things I most enjoy doing, uh, Representative Button, is welcoming companies into the state of Texas and, and to, uh, to be able to, uh, uh, to, to see that, uh, that, that growth, uh, the number of employees. I mean, what a great presentation you put together here and the power of, of this company and the, uh, the, the dynamic of, 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 of uh, growth and almost exponential growth of, of uh, both employees and, and sales and, and, uh, and why you're here, and, and thank you for recognizing uh, why you're here, uh, that, that this state has, um, Angie and her uh, colleagues have helped create a, an environment in, in this state where entrepreneurs know that they can come and, and risk their capital and, and have a good chance to get a return on, on that investment. And, uh, and uh, it, 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 that environment is the reason that Texas leads the nation in the number of th uh, Fortune 1000 uh, companies and uh, allows the, uh, the, the jobs to be created at uh, an unprecedented rate relative to uh, the rest of the country. And, it was spot on when you mentioned that Texas hospitality is, uh, it, it's not only part of our culture, uh, it's also a mindset of, of local and regional and uh, state economic development groups like Texas One uh, that reach across borders and, uh, and, and, and oceans for that matter uh, to join uh, people and invite them to come to this state and uh, to enjoy that climate that we've created here. Uh, and today, we're obviously, we're celebrating uh, the expansion of Huawei Technologies. And it's a company that's long uh, accepted our invitation to Texas since, uh, I think, 2001, as you uh, said. And it's been a presence in this community ever since then. And we dedicate this new facility in Plano, uh, and I want to just thank the entire business community because it truly is that um, the entirety of, 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 the, of the business community and, and the city of Plano and um, obviously Huawei for making today possible. Uh, this, is, this is a company with a really strong worldwide reputation. Uh, the innovators of quality telecommunications uh, uh, technology as the, we saw here facilities not just all over the United States but surrounding the globe and uh, 13 offices eight R&D centers just in North America alone and you know to me this facility represents an investment not only in the quality of our workforce but it also continues to strengthen the Texas economy uh, so on behalf of uh, 24 plus million Texans, Matt, I just want to say to the company and uh, thank you for what you're doing here. The ripple effect of, of this, uh, this company uh, is uh, going to be quite substantial and the prosperity that it helps create. Um, your decision to expand here is obviously very gratifying to uh, people like myself and, and, and Angie and her colleagues who have created this environment in this state and uh, you know meeting Wren was a, 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 a I was just sharing with uh, one of our traveling uh, companions today what a really interesting man he is <laughs> rather st straight spoken uh, if, if you didn't know any better, you'd say he grew up out in West Texas. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, he kind of tells it like it. it what, he wasn't sugarcoating it a lot. Uh, it, it's what I'm, and, and, but he, he truly is a, uh, a, a, a very powerful um, uh, chief executive officer and, and, and uh, a, a, a very focused and, and, and hard-driven individual, which uh, in the world that we live in today is, is uh, 
a, a great attribute. Um, and uh, Matt, obviously, uh, from welcome aboard. Uh, uh, trust me, 50 ain't bad. <laughs> 60's pretty good, too. So uh, you, you're doing okay, brother. And uh, just uh, when you hit 60, you know, if, if, if the Lord's if the Lord's blessing you, you'll still be in Texas. <laughs> so, uh, you know, part of the, uh, look, and it, this whole company is all about high standards. Uh, and part of that standard is, is knowing where to invest and where to expand. And um, Huawei, you could have been anywhere in the world. I mean, this is a company that does its homework. And I think the message to all of us, and frankly, the message to the rest of the country and the world, that you expanded in Texas is a very powerful one. Uh, that uh, it, it is an affirmation to what we are doing in this state. It's an affirmation to economic development groups like you've put together, Mr. Mayor. Uh, it's affirmation, uh, Angie, to you and your colleagues that the courageous votes that you make to keep our taxes and our regulatory climate fair and predictable, a, a legal system that doesn't allow for oversuing, and, and in particular the, those accountable public schools that are continuing to deliver to you the skilled workforce that you demand. It's an affirmation that we are getting it right in Texas. Uh, so their continued commitment to Plano uh, is, is one of those pictures that's kind of worth a thousand words, if you will, uh, affirming that the gracious people of Plano, uh, the quality of the workforce here, commitment shown by business and community leaders, uh, is one of the great strengths that we have in this state. Um, <laughs> my dad, uh, not unlike Ren, actually, the, <laughs> a, one of those uh, pretty straight-spoken old West Texas uh, farmers, he, he said, you know, it ain't bragging if you can do it. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, the, you know, and the, the fact of the matter is, we've got the numbers to back up our contention that this is the greatest place to live and to raise a family and to own a business in the world. Uh, we've added more jobs in, in this state uh, than any other state uh, in the country since the start of the year. And that's a really big deal. When you think about the, uh, the winds, the economic winds that we've been uh, uh, running into, and, and, uh, uh, and, and it's even a bigger deal for folks who started the year without a job. They started the year unemployed, and today they've got a job in the state of Texas. Our success also inspires employers in other states. One of the reasons I, I talk about competition uh, so often is because I want other states to look at Texas, to see what we're doing in this state, ask the questions of how, how did you manage to create jobs in this environment? And we want people to look at that model, how you, um, we want people to, to make the decisions in other states, to seek relief from high taxation and overregulation, from government interference. and. Um, Companies doing business in, in, in Texas, like Huawei, uh, are, are succeeding in a job-friendly environment that we've worked really hard to cultivate. And, and uh, you, you, know, you all appreciate the, uh, the low taxes and the low government spending, our predictable uh, regulatory climate, our reform legal system, and obviously uh, our skilled workforce. It, it's a, Texas is on the right track, and uh, we're reaping the benefits of years of policy decisions that are job-friendly and fiscally responsible. And uh, that is something that uh, um, the rest of the country and, and uh, we, we invite them to come to Texas and, and, and see what we're doing here. Um, and and you know, Matt and I talked about the, uh, the, the one of the reasons that they're here is because of that skilled workforce. And, and, and throughout this year, we've talked about um, you, you cannot be complacent in, in the world today. Yeah. As soon as you prop your feet up on the, on the desk and uh, whistle, thank God you're a country boy, you're behind. And the fact is, 
the reason this company is, is out front and leading is because they haven't been complacent. One of the reasons that Texas is a place that they have chosen to expand is because we have not been complacent. Continuing to improve our public schools, for instance, uh, STEM academies, those science and technology, engineering and math uh, academies. And, and Angie, we've talked about, even though this is going to be a, a, a tough legislative session from a, uh, the standpoint of, of uh, the budget, that expanding those programs. I'd like to double the number of STEM academies that we have in this state to make sure that we continue to send the message to companies like Huawei that this is a place that gets it. They are prioritizing. Uh, we did that in 2003. Uh, we had a, 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 a substantial budget shortfall. But that same time we cut $10 billion out of that budget in 2003, we expended $1.8 billion more than the previous two years on education. That's the message that this is a state that gets it from the standpoint of what are the priorities. That's the reason that companies like Huawei have chosen to expand in Texas, because they've seen a track record for a decade now. Uh, again, I want to wrap up by saying congratulations to everyone that's involved in this great occasion. Uh, God bless you, and uh, through you, may God continue to bless the great state of Texas.